Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be um, a video all about my beautiful Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Whoops, the holes over here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be discussing um, just a little bit about the journey that I took in obtaining this deck. Um, I'm gonna show you the deck and I'm also going to show you the fake copy that I was um, sent. A few months back, um, you guys may have caught that in another video when I was discussing, I think it was discussing like how to get your mojo back or astrology or I don't know, it was like one of those. So let's get to it. Let me arrange the camera so that it is on the table. I just wanted to, I just wanted to put my face on there for a quick minute. Um, I have my Halloween set up, so those of you guys who catch this video later on, months down the line, um, when you're doing a random Oracle of the Radiant Sun search, <laughs> this, you'll see the Halloween setup, but just keep in mind um, the time of year. So I'll put a different spread cloth down. Maybe that'll not make it so distracting. I don't know. Okay, I just think the cards will they'll jump out better with this, with this, um, with this spread cloth. Okay. So Oracle of the Radiant Sun is an out of print deck. When, when decks go out of print, it means they are no longer ma making copies of a certain deck. Um, and the only ones that you can obtain are used decks or, that pop up randomly on eBay or little online shops or, through trading um, groups um, on Facebook and whatnot. So when decks are out of print, ten, they tend to raise in price um, compared to their original, um, the original going rate that they were being sold at. So the Oracle of the Radiant Sun being out of print for quite some time, it actually escalated in price. It is insane. Um, I want to say the most I've seen this deck being sold for on eBay was $800. It was ridiculous. Um, I've seen it for $400, and then every so often it'll pop up for maybe $100, $200, usually in that range. Um, but it gets usually it gets um, taken quickly when it comes up at that right at that price rate because $100 to $200 versus $800 is a huge change, right? So, um, I had seen a listing for Oracle of the Radiant Sun on eBay for $70 and it was coming from a different country plus a $20 shipping rate. So I paid $90 for this deck, right? It didn't come with a book. Um, it was just the cards. And when I received it, I knew instantly as soon as I looked at it, that it was a fake. So that's another thing when you guys are purchasing decks online, we risk the unfortunate um, truth that sometimes people will um, steal photos of the cards online and reprint them. Um, or people will, I don't know, manufacture just fake versions or cheap versions of the deck. It's not the original one. <clears throat> when you're putting money down, for a, an out of print deck, you want to make sure you're getting the real thing. So luckily, <coughs> $90 is still a lot of money to for me to, <coughs> for me to have spent 70 for the deck but 20 bucks for shipping because it was out of country. It's a lot of money, but it was also a lesson learned for me um, to be more aware of what I'm buying, to make sure that you are searching images online so you know what the deck looks like. Maybe you could see it, asking your seller to, per to um, <laughs> asking the seller to send you more photos if you're a little bit unsure, checking their ratings, all of that. So this person had the deck, and this is the fake copy, by the way. So what really, what, what told me first, as soon as I took it out of the bag, was the cardstock was very papery, okay? This is papery compared to the original. Um, the second thing was the images are very pixelated, so you may not, it may not show up on camera. It probably won't show up on camera. I don't know if this is going to focus. But, um... They're pixelated. The coloring is off when you look at pictures of this of this deck. 
um, online. I mean, the colors were, were off. They're rather dark on this one. And the backs are very, very, very pixelated. Um, so it's almost blurry. And so I was very upset. Um, I ended up re uh, reporting the seller. They deleted their account or unless eBay took it off. Um, and, you know, so it was the, the whole thing was dealt with. But it was very unfortunate because I was excited thinking I found a steal. Maybe because it happens every once in a while. You'll, you will have people who will sell decks who maybe don't know. They're not familiar with... Um, with the going rate of certain ones or maybe they're not as familiar or they don't want to they're not in it to to receive a lot of money they want to just rehome a deck because they 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 want someone to enjoy it um so every once in a while you will find um a, a steal you know where you'll find a deck for super cheap um and you'll be excited over it so that was this one i was excited over this and when i received it and realized it was a fake i was very upset um i used it a couple times i i i snapped photos of it for my website um not my website my instagram but i was also torn about using it because i knew that it wasn't the real thing and so i really i tucked it away in a in a bag i kept it obviously i kept it um, because I was like, no one else is going to be, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to, to have someone else receive something like this and paying double what I paid, you know? So I kept it. I put it in the drawer where I keep my decks and it stayed there. Actually, I'll keep it out so I can show you guys a comparison. And it stayed there, um, unused pretty much. I would pull it out every once in a while, this, you know, and, and whatever, but I was embarrassed, to be honest. I was very embarrassed by the fact that I was, I was gypped. So then, this was maybe a few months of, months back. I want to say this was like earlier this year. Um, and then recently, there was another listing that popped up, and the lady that was selling the deck um, had it for a very fair price. It was significantly lower than the ones that you see on eBay. Um, and I messaged her and we settled a, um, a, a price, you know, we kind of, I kind of negotiated a little bit. Um, and I purchased the deck and I was super excited about it. This has been on my wish list for probably the beginning of my tarot journey. I remember Lila Hal, um, I went over to her house and she showed me the deck because she actually read with it for one of my birthday readings. And that was the first time I ever saw it. And I asked her about it. Where did you buy it? Because at that time, I didn't know that it was out of print. And Leela Hell told me it's out of print. It's super expensive, blah, blah, blah. And so when I went to her house, she pulled it out so I could see it in person. And I remember when I saw the cards, I was like, oh, I have to have this deck because it's very astrology inspired and the artwork is very just it's just so it's so pretty and it's so one of a kind so um this is the, the deck this is the book that came with it it's a nice nice little book it goes into astrology it goes into um the planets the signs, the houses. So it's like getting an astrology lesson as well. And then it goes into each individual card. Oh, it also has spreads. Um, but it also goes and this and honestly, you guys, when I received it, the packaging, the way the way this person packaged this deck was so full of love. She used so much like um little foam pieces and to make sure that it wasn't going to get smashed or thrown around. I mean, you, I could tell she genuinely knew she was a reader herself. She has a huge collection, so she knows the value of it. And it was very amazing to see so much love. I mean, like as soon as I felt it <laughs> and brought it out, I could feel the love. Um, so the cards came with the book and the book, the, the spine is not even it's not even dented. It's literally like a brand new deck. And I was so excited. Um, so I'm even afraid to open it because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to um, ruin it since this is the original first edition. Um, but 
I just wanted to kind of show you guys. So like inside the book, you have the picture. There's like a picture of each card and it's a huge chunk of just delicious information. Um, and it goes through all of them. So it's a nice chunky book. And then at the very end, it teaches you like how you could do um, an astrology reading and oh, it's just beautiful. So um, the cards, they didn't come in the box. They came in a um, little mesh bag, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> and it's so cute because it has um, a really cute little chain here. It has a moon and a sun, which I thought is so appropriate for this deck. It's weird because when I see this, I have mad crazy deja vu. Like I feel like I've seen this deck before or I've owned it before in, a, in another lifetime. I mean, I don't know. I, it sounds silly, but it's like I have crazy deja vu when I'm handling this. I don't know. I mean, because I know that decks like these, like if, if someone will buy it and then they'll resell it another time. So maybe this was like owned by someone else and I, I saw this post of the picture and stuff, but I have so much deja vu. So just by looking at the bag and the little chain, if any of you guys pre-owned this deck and you know or you know who did, I would love to hear because I don't know why this gives me deja vu. Um, so uh, super cute packaging and the cards are just, I mean, I saw, oh, I, I keep a little um, citrine. I keep a tumbled citrine with the deck because citrine is like, it, it reminds me of the sun. So it's just, I just thought that was so appropriate for the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Now, I mean, <laughs> look at how chunky and thick this cardstock is, right? Compared to this paper stuff that I got, you know? And um, when I was looking at the images, I mean, even just the card backs, it's like super clear compared to, this is the real one. This is the fake one. See? Can you kind of see like how, um, sorry, there's the glare. See, and the, the real one has a little bit of a glare because it's not, it's not glossy, but see how this one's like pixelated and all blurry? So even just the details of the cards, I was just super in awe because I didn't get to see that shit with this stuff. <laughs> this is so pixelated, like the pictures themselves were blurry, but this has so much detail and I was just like in so much love, so much love for a deck. Um, I felt, I had like a smile the whole time I was going through the cards, um, because I couldn't believe I was holding it. Like after years of wanting it and oogling it and seeing it, um, in person that one time with Leela Hal, I was like, I want this deck. Now, I'll, after all of this, after all of this searching and stuff and finally obtaining it, um, this deck is actually going to be reprinted for a second edition and it's supposed to come out in 2019 word on the street is it's supposed to come out in February, 2019, but you know, that can change based on the publisher and all that. Um, so I knew about this being republished, like re reprinted and I was excited because I figured, okay, well, if I never own a first edition, I will own the second edition. Um, but as you guys know, as readers, we know that um, second editions, third editions don't always look like the first one, okay? There's usually a difference. There's, it's, it's, sometimes it's subtle um, and you can't tell, or sometimes it's very obvious. Like for, for example, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, the, the first and second editions are very similar with the card backs, but the third is completely different. The coloring is different. Um, so I knew if I were to just get the second edition of the Oracle, the Radiant Sun, there could be differences. The images could be different. They could add different card, you know, different pictures. Um, the coloring could be different. The backs could be different. It wouldn't be the first edition. And if you are a collector of the decks, um, I consider myself a very mild collector, but I do have some pieces that I'm very proud of um, that I've obtained. Um, so if you are a collector, then you'll understand the importance and the, the, the feeling that you get when you own a first edition of something that is just something that you've always wanted. Um, and so that's why I 
still hunted down a first edition and that is why I put the money down to buy a first edition. No, I did not spend four hundred, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a deck. I didn't. I would never do that. Um, I think that's that's absurd. Some of the prices that pop up for some of these decks, um, I would never spend that much money. Yeah. Maybe someone who has a lot of money who can throw down eight hundred dollars like like nothing. It would be easy for them, but <laughs> um, I think two hundred dollars is my max that I would ever spend on a deck of cards. Um, and so, you know, that's how I, that's what I did. So I did not spend a shit ton of money. Like my husband would kill me if I did that. <laughs> so anyways, um, that is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And the funny thing about it was when this, when this deck was being delivered, I had the, the notifications turned on on my phone to receive notifications to see where the mailman was and when it was de being delivered. And I had, I was at work doing extra hours. So I was at work at a time where I shouldn't have been at work. I, I was, I would have still been home and I got a notification that the mailman, um, didn't deliver the deck because I wasn't there to sign it off. And that's how loving this seller was. She sent it to be, you had to sign it off. And, um, and that just shows she 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 knew the value of it. And because no one was there to sign for it, he left a note for me to have, you know, he'll try, he'll try again tomorrow. And I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. I wanted it now. <laughs> so I sent an um I sent a text to my husband and I asked him, "Please, please, please look down the street. He he can't be that far. Um find him, you know, and get my deck for me, please, because I told him you you will you may not not understand and you may not get it, but this is this is a very important deck for me and I can't risk losing it, you know, and I don't want to wait another day. So he did. He found the mailman and the mailman knows us. So he knew, you know, I was his wife and stuff. So he let my husband sign it off for me um, and got the deck home. So <laughs> I was anxious to get home that day. It was just like it was just a dream come true. So. These are the cards. They're beautiful. Um, I'm not going to go through and show every single one of them. If you guys want to see a video where I show them all off, you know, I totally can. But um, I just wanted to share my little story and also give you guys just an idea of let, you know, sometimes you think you could trust people to send you know what they say they have when you do a trade or when you buy something. And unfortunately, there are people out there who will who will lie, you know, who will send you a fake. Um, and you may think, wow, you, how, you, there really are fakes of tarot decks. Yeah, there are, especially when they're rare decks or when they're out of print decks. They, they are, there are people that'll do that. If people can get a, a, a handle, maybe they own the deck and then they scanned, that you could scan the images of them and then they reprint them. I mean, that shit is, that is, shit is awful. Like it pisses me off when I, when I realize people will do that and um and then they make you pay like they they're gonna post it like oh pay me a hundred bucks and you can have it and then you get something like this and it's like wow it's not even the real thing and it's just very unfortunate so keep when you're shopping online <laughs> be very weary look at the reviews make sure you ask for additional photos if you're if you feel weird about it um, if the price seems too good to be true, sometimes it is, but this one, this price was really good. So it, that's not always the case. Like it's too good to be true. Um, sometimes it legit, you know, the person will legit bring down their price for you. Um, so just, there are diamonds in the rough out there, but also be very wary of other ones. Um, so yeah, <laughs> So it's just really exciting, but um, I also wanted to say if you guys are interested in owning um, the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, like I said, the second edition will be coming out in 2019, supposedly by February. Um, if you go to Amazon, you can actually pre-order it right now, and you could, you could pre-order it for like, I think it's $28. I mean, this deck, when you look at the back of the book, yeah, US is $19.95. So when this deck originally came out, the book and the, the cards, it was only $20. Crazy, right? Because now that it's out of print, I mean, this thing, like I said, <laughs> it pops up on eBay for like 800 bucks. It's wild. Um, so pre-order it, you know, get the second edition, you know, and, and enjoy it. But um, yeah, 
that is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. I just wanted to share that and share my story with you. And um, I hope you guys are, you know, having a good weekend and happy tarotting and happy um, journey with those of you who are on the hunt for a specific deck. I know that feeling. I was on the hunt for the the um, Victorian romantic tarot at one point. I was on the hunt for the um, vintage, no, what is it called? The... Um, Victorian flower oracle that one was a big one I was hunting for that for months and then I found a copy at a pretty decent price so your dreams can come true <laughs> you can obtain the deck of your dreams it just sometimes you have to do a little bit of hunting and negotiating um and if it's meant to be it will be so that was in this case it wasn't meant to be in this time but this deck was meant to be in my possession at one point and here it is and I'm I'm so happy so Anyways, my loves, um, if you have any questions about the decks, if you want to see a video where I show you each card over, you know, one by one, let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.